Okay, uh, let's get on with this uh, this module for today. That is oil tanker calculations part two. The target audience are basically uh, the phase one competency candidates, and uh, all others also will find it useful because it's more or less something what we do on board a ship also. At the conclusion of this module, the participant will be able to understand. Uh, we'll do a recap of whatever we did last uh, week, just the basics of the oil calculations. A, a, a very quick uh, recap. We'll do a small calculations on the uh, cuboidal tanks without any list on trim, so that the basics are understood, and then we can proceed on to the uh, the higher uh, concepts. Of it. The effect of trim on the tank levels, then the effect of list on the tank levels. We'll be looking at it separately so that we understand the concepts of it. And then ultimately, I mean, finally, we'll be summarizing the whole thing and then uh, do a, a, a small calculations for this. During the course of the modules, there'll be some numericals, some calculations will be involved. So please keep your pen, paper, and a scientific calculator handy. This time I need a scientific calculator because we'll be doing some trigonometrical ratios calculations. That's the reason for doing it. And uh, like I said in the last class also, the target audience are the candidates appearing for phase one competency exams. So the main uh, objective over here is to, to prepare the candidates for the examination. And uh, it may or may not be used on board, actually or used on board a ship, but that's a different thing. But to understand the concepts and how to go about doing it, that's what this whole class is about. Okay, we'll do a quick recap of what we did uh, last week. So we saw that uh, there are various ways of determining the, uh, the volume of the oil in the cargo tanks. We can use a sounding tape, that's the first one. We can use an LH tape, second one. We can also use a radar gauge, or we can use a float gauge. So depending on the equipments on board, depending on the systems, we can use either one of them or or like a uh, like a multiple of all these things. Ultimately, we find out the volume of the oil. That's that's a whole concept of doing it. So when we get the uh, once once we come to the LH, we we subtract the, uh, the height of the tank from it, and then from there we get the what uh, the value for depth of the oil. Once we know the depth of the oil, then we just multiply it by the length and breadth of the tank and we'll get the volume. This case is, is, is only for upright and even keel. It's not applicable for the uh, for the ships in case she, uh, she has got some trim or less. Once we get the volume of the oil, I mean, uh, this, this is again we uh, discussed last week. Uh, for a given volume of oil, temperature is reduced. If the temperature is reduced, the volume reduces and the density increases. And the formula what we use is volume is equal to uh, mass is equal to volume into density, provided that volume and the density are the same temperature. And we also saw the standard temperature what we use for norm all all our uh, uh, for calculating all these factors and all is 15 degrees Celsius. And we have the tables, various tables for this uh, connected to this 15 degrees Celsius, correcting the volume at observed temperature to 15 degrees Celsius. We also saw last time what are the various uses of these ASTM tables, uh, and this again uh, I want to remind you this is an examination copy. This is not the copy actually what you use on board a ship. But then what you what you use on board a ship is also more or less similar. So we have something called ASTM table 54 T54 we call it for short, and there we enter it with the observed temperature and the density in, uh, at 15 degrees Celsius. This density at 15 degrees Celsius is given to us by the uh, by the cargo surveyor, and it's, 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 you can see it sometimes in the in the bill of lading or sometimes in the uh, Certificate of uh, 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 the quality certificate or certificate of analysis. So you will get the density from uh, one of these places. The density is density at 50 degrees Celsius and uh, in vacuum. And this is the observed temperature. And we come to this uh, thing called VCS. We also use another uh, table called table 56, that is uh, WRF, weight reduction factor. So we don't use this right hand side part of it, only the left hand side part is, uh, uh, is used. But we have seen, as in the, in the last class, if you have seen, we don't actually have to use this also. There are, uh, there are like what you call, we can use another method instead of using this table 56. So, in effect, only one table to be used, that is this table 54, and then we can get our uh, answers from this. Uh, again, this is a recap of last class, what we did. Uh, in case you want to convert from allege to volume, volume to metric tons, that is, uh, allege to volume to metric tons, we first obtain the volume. Volume is height of the oil into length into breadth. Next thing is we multiply this observed volume into VCF and what we get is it, uh, the volume at the standard temperature. We find out the density in air. Density in air is density in vacuum minus uh, decimal 0011. And finally, when we multiply this density in air by this uh, GSV, we get what is called as weight in air. So the next four steps are basically in case you want to go reverse. That means in case I want to go from the weight in air to uh, volume. That is what this reverse process is. That is required in case we know the quantity of the cargo to be carried. Let's say, uh, like a storage plan, we, we decide to carry a certain amount of metric tons in the tank. How to get the absorbed allage? That's what the second step is for. 
That's only for information. Uh, we won't be using it uh, right now over here. So any doubts uh, in this uh, quick recap what we did? Basically, uh, carry forward from the last class. No, sir. Okay, great. So we go to the... Um, we'll, before we go to the actual calculation of list and frame and all, let's, let's, let's do a simple calculations on on based on this what, we, what we've uh, seen so far. So what I want you all to find out is what is the allege of the oil and weight? That is, uh, how much of the allege of, of what will be the allege in the, of the oil in the cargo tanks and what will be the weight of the cargo uh, in the cargo tanks? And these are the various conditions what is given. I'm also giving you table 54 for your reference. So observed temperature is given, is known to us. Density is also known to us. That means we can, we can approach, we can use this table 54. And the, wall, the, the tank is 98% full. There's also information which, which the question is, I mean, it's given the question. The tank dimensions are given. So can we find out this, this particular uh, answer? Anybody? How to approach? Please unmute yourself and then speak. So first we found 98 the 0.98 uh, volume. The uh, check. Tank. Yeah, so the first one, what we want to find out is the allege of the oil. So let's let's start. Always, please, always start with a small diagram, uh, which represents all the, uh, the detail, what is what is given in the question. So we have uh, these informations, which is like uh, 18 is the breadth, 25 is the length. And uh, this 30, uh, 30 centimeter, that's 0.3 meter, is basically what is like 98% full. That means 0.98 into the height of the tank will give us the distribution of this height. That means uh, the oil is the oil level is 14.7 meters. Once we get this, we have to find out the volume of the oil. So one part of the question is already known to us now. Allege of the oil is known because allege is basically 0.98 of the height of the tank. Now we come to the second part, which is the volume of the tank. Because next we want to find out what is the weight of the tank. What is, uh, what is the weight of the oil in the tank? So the volume is to be found out first. Now, can anybody tell me what volume is this? Is it standard volume or is it uh, observed volume? Observed, observed volume. Observed volume. That means it's an observed volume. We can't directly use it uh, with our density. We have to do it. We have to do some uh, some more like modifications to it. So next, thing, uh, this is the POV. This is twenty five to eighteen to fourteen point seven. That gives us six six one five cubic. That is the observed volume. TOV. So O stands for the observed volume. Next, we will start using the tables. So twenty six point five is a, is a temperature what is given, and the density is seven eight five. That is seven eight five over here. So where these two uh, meet. That is 9890. So this value of VCF is 9890. So now in, from this page, what I've calculated is TOV and the VCF. Now I don't need the tables, I don't need the diagrams because I already have this the volume already calculated and the VCF is already find, found out. So we, we go to the next step that is from the observed volume, how to find out the weight. So the first one is GSV. Can anybody tell me how to find out the GSV? So volume into VCF. Volume into VCF, very good. Observe volume. Be, be careful of what which volume you're referring to. Observe volume into VCF. That gives us the uh, the GSP. Now this is simple multiplication. That means we get the answer as six five four two decimal two three five. Next, what we find out is instead of going to table fifty six as what we decided, we will we will follow a simpler method that is density in vacuum minus zero zero one one. Then when you do that, we get the figure of 0.7839 tons. So cubic in air. That is that is the density in air now. So now I got the density in air. Now I got the standard volume in air. Now what has to be done? Weight in air. Yeah, weight in air. So how do we do that? Multiply. Multiply these two. Very good. That means it's a simple multiplication again. So if you actually see, I mean, the the, the procedure is very simple. You don't even have to. Uh, it's it's, a, it's if you're using a scientific calculator, it's a regular progression from one one from the or one to the other. So even though the formulas look a little daunting, the, the fundamentals are very, very simple. The calculations are even more simpler. If you get these concepts very, very straight, uh, very clear, I mean, the concepts are pretty clear. If you get it straight, if you get it clear, then no issues at all for solving these problems. Any doubts uh, in how we did this problem? No doubts in chat, sir. OK, great. Because this was just the basic. And uh, before we go into list and trim, I just wanted to ensure that this basics is, is very, very clear. Because what we are going this up to about this level is second mix level. Now what we are going to go next is about uh, phase one level. So I want this, uh, this, per this particular portion very, very clear to everybody. Okay, so no questions. So we go to the next part. 
we are going to use some trigonometrical uh, like what you call ratios and all so just a basic of trigonometry i know uh, most of you are already aware of this trigonometrical ratios and all but just a quick recap first of all what is sin theta anybody opposite by hypotenuse by hypotenuse opposite by hypotenuse very good okay i just got a small suggestion over here always use the opposite adjacent and hypotenuse don't say vertical and base because if i change the theta then the vertical becomes the uh, i mean the whole concept of vertical and this all all changes so always always use uh, opposite adjacent and hypotenuse when you are referring to these uh, trigonometrical ratios so opposite by hypotenuse very good what is cos theta adjacent adjacent by hypotenuse adjacent by hypotenuse very good and now tan theta opposite sin theta by cos theta Sin theta by cos theta, so we have opposite divided by uh, adjacent. adjacent. The hypotenuse gets cancelled off in the ratio, so ultimately what we get is opposite upon adjacent. The basic, this is all we are going to use. So we know we are not going to use those trigonometrical uh, like theorems and the ratios and all. Only these three components are used for our calculation. Okay. Now, uh, why we are going to use this is because in the in the competency examination, see on board we already get the volume of the oil. Uh, in the last class, also you, you all told me where do you get the volume of the oil? Once I know the alleage, how do we get the volume? So alleage table. Alleage table. So in the alleage table itself, there are some corrections uh, involved, trim corrections, list corrections, and all these things are involved. So if you have, if you use alleage table correctly, we don't actually have to go into all these things. This we have to do in the examination. Why? Because in the examination there is no alleage table given, so we have to find out the volume of the oil. Now, for the for finding out the volume of the oil, we are going to go back to our good old uh, mathematics and trigonometry to find the volume of the oil. That is only the difficult part in the phase one examination. Once you find the volume of the oil, then it's a matter of simple using of the BCF and WCF. And once you have the volume in hand, the uh, getting the uh, the true weight or the weight in air is is very very simple. But just to get the volume of the oil, that's where the whole uh, I mean it gets a little bit time consuming because we are going to go into a lot of these trigonometrical ratios. All right. Now, again, we come to the same uh, picture what we saw in the previous class. What is the effect of trim on the surface of the oil? Now, the tank is perfectly even keel. That means there is no trim at all. The trim is zero. This is how the the, trim, the tank will look like. So wherever we take the alleage, it can, I can we can take the alleage from any any part of the of the tank anywhere in the in the tank the tank length. The alleage will be same, exactly same. All right. On the center also it will be the same. The tank mid length also will be same on the on the on the after side or the forward side. But now what happens if the tank is trimmed? That means the forward draft is less, the aft draft is more. All the oil will come towards the the after side. Why? Because oil always maintains the horizontal surface. So now here we have a problem. The oil has come on to the uh, to one end of the tank because of the trim. And now how do we find out? So if I if we if we use a uh, the alleged port if it is located exactly on the tank mid length. It will still see the uh, uh, read the same value. Why? Because the oil is hinging towards. I mean, this is a pivot point for the oil. If this one increases, this one reduces. So this is where it is going to pivot on. So if you if you measure it exactly on the pivot point, that is the tank's mid length, the alleged there is no change at all. But we all know on board a ship, the, the alleged port is never on the midship. Okay, you may have something in the midship, but you also have in the like off center towards like the aft or the or the forward. So, in case the tank is uh, even keel, this would be the liquid surface. All right. Now, if we offset this particular alleged point to the aft, what will happen to the alleged? Is it the correct alleged? No, sir. No, sir. No. Now, there are two points coming into this. First of all, the alleged what is obtained is less. So, let's look at this. There is a reduction in alleged. Why? Because all the oil from the forward, this particular, this triangle has gone and shifted towards this triangle. So, that is the reason why we have a, a reduction in the alleged. And second part is this: this particular line is vertical line. The tank surface is, I mean, the oil surface is horizontal, and this is vertical. But this, uh, this uh, violet color line, is it is it parallel to the aft bulkhead? No, sir. No, no sir. Why? Because the the tank is uh, is tilted. I mean, it is trimmed, and that's the reason why. So we have two actually two problems in this. Okay. So at the same time, now if I if if we use the radar gauge. If you use the radar gauge, what do we get? We have a reduction in the alleage, yes, but the radar gauge is actually following; it's parallel to the aft bulkhead. So, strictly, there is some correction to be applied here too, because actually, what I want is the level of the oil in this orange color line, the, dash, uh, the dashed orange line, and not the green line. So, basically, this small correction, what is involved, is is what is the is a trim correction 
uh, what we call about this particular part see uh, i am we are going to refer to only this particular part because i am going to magnify this particular section and see what all what all concepts what are what is all hidden behind this here so this is again the tank structure now i want to make it very clear this is a tank mid length this is not the forward end of the tank this is a tank mid length so the tank mid length is over here now this is the surface of the oil in the tank the oil is uh, the, the tank is even keel and now this is the horizontal level of the oil and now this uo is the alage which is observed by the alage by the uh, uh, by the sounding pipe is it clear this is a small offset which is given because distance from the aft bulkhead is mentioned i mean it is given in the numericals or it can be uh, obtained from the ship's plans and all so this is what we get you understand now what we have done from here so from here we have gone to this particular diagram where it expands where it shows in more detail only from the uh, from the tank mid length to up the tank still continues forward so that that we are not looking at it for the time being is it concept clear Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, all right. So again, looking at this particular diagram, so what we are involved, what we are interested in, only this particular half to get to find these errors and all. So now this U O is what the alleged what is obtained from the alleged uh, from that uh, alleged uh, uh, sonic tape. Actually, what I want is U T. Now this is where the problem comes in. What we have in hand is U O, that is the observed alleged. but actually what i want in in true into for calculation is ut once we get the ut how do i get the volume of the oil or how do i get the height of the oil if you have ut in hand how do i get the uh, height of the oil so normal uh, calculation rectangle volume yeah, yeah rectangular volume first of all you have to find the height of the oil means, yeah depth minus the alleged will give us the volume or uh, the height of the oil from there multiply by length and breadth you will get it so this is the heart of all the calculation this red color line what is there is u uh, ut is where we are interested in finding the uh, the calculations all right so now this ut cannot be found out directly so what we are going to do is we are going to split this u, uh, ut into up plus pt all right so this u or this blue line is a vertical line this is a observed alleged and this true alleged is ut which is uh, parallel to the aft bulkhead so it meets our requirement and plus it is touching the uh, the even keel level of the oil So it meets it meets our second requirement also. So my our main intention is to find out what is the UT. What we have is only UO, but we also know what is the trim. That means uh, how much the, the ship is uh, trim. That also we know. So ultimately, what we want to find out is UT. That UT can be split up into UP plus PT. Is uniform Papa and Papa Tango. This is what we are going to do, and this is what the whole calculation about in doing this is. so to find out this what we do is we resolve two triangles the first triangle to be resolved is uop that is u o and p if we resolve this triangle we will get up the second triangle to be resolved is pmt that is uh, uh, this is the center the mid uh, the midpoint over here m uh, p m and t and so once we once we resolve the second triangle which is like a horizontal triangle right angle triangle then we get what is what, what, i mean what is called as a pt clear now let's come to this we have we see over here we have something called trim in theta now this trim is not in meters this trim this theta this uh, this particular value is in degrees so we are talking about trigonometry that's the reason why we want we are going to measure this in degrees now tell me one thing there is this theta over here this is this angle over here and this 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 one more angle over here are they same or are they different this angle and this angle Would it be same or would it be different? Different, sir. It should be different. Should be different. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? It should be same only because it should be same. Why? Same because yeah. Alternative angles. Yeah. Correct. Exactly. So now imagine this particular ship is perfectly upright and even keel. In that case. Both the dotted line and this this uh, uh, the bold line, both of them will uh, will like coincide, and also this blue line will exactly coincide with this red line. Now, as this theta increases, this angle also increases. All right, so this theta is exactly same as this theta. So what we have is, I mean, this this theta is is caused because of trim. 
the same theta can be transposed over here and we can also use the same theta over this this particular theta value over here also so we have the, the i mean the theta value is known to us that means in a, in a, in a right angle triangle we know the angle and we also know one side that means we can resolve the all, all of the other missing uh, missing sides clear now that is how we use i mean that's what that was the calculations what we used for finding out what are the values for up and pt the theta being common for both the triangles now let us see how we resolve it first of all this theta which is here that is i mean the the, the trim what we know is in meters whereas what we want is in theta so now this is a simple diagram of a ship the, the ship is floating with the forward draft over here and the aft draft over here in the aft and what is the value for trim meter what is the trim value meter meters come on guys trim meter aft minus forward aft aft minus forward so trim in meters is aft draft minus forward draft that means this red line what i have what we have over here is the aft draft minus a forward draft this is what is what is called as trim and again i'm mentioning it it is in meters as a now it is in meters our main concern is to con convert into into theta into into degrees so now in this triangle we have theta which is over here which is hidden be between this uh, the horizontal and the ship's uh, keel that is trim divided by lvp is it not tan theta is equal to opposite divided by adjacent so tan theta is trim divided by lvp now theta value is tan inverse that means what we do is we take out this tan and take it on the other side so it becomes tan inverse of trim by lvp clear yeah. so wherever the value for theta comes in we can safely transpose it by putting as tan inverse of trim by lvp we will get what is the value for theta is it is it consistent on this yes sir okay so next we come to solve this triangle the thing which was there i mean we want to find out what is ut that is a true alleged So that we are going to split up into UP and PT. So now in this triangle UOP, UOP right angle at O, we know the value for theta. We know the value of UO. What is U, uh, UP? So if I say cos theta, cos theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. This UP is a hypotenuse in this case. What we actually want is UP. So what we do is we say UP is equal to UO divided by cos theta. Or in other words. U O is equal to uh, sorry uh, U P is equal to U O into secant of theta. Simple calculations. I mean, uh, let's not uh, get into those uh, uh, the complexities of trigonometry and all. It's a very straightforward trigonometrical calcul. I mean, uh, what do you call uh, derivation? And now, as we already uh, derived this value for theta, what is theta? In the previous example, what I mean, the previous slide, what we did, theta is tan inverse of trim by L B P. So wherever theta comes in, we can safely transpose it as tan inverse of trim by L B P. Clear. Now this by by doing this we get the value for UP, but that's only half the battle won. We still have to find out what is PT. So now for PT, we, are, we fortunately also have one more right angle triangle that is PMT. So in this in this right angle triangle PMT, theta is known to us, and the theta is same as this uh, tan inverse of trim by LBP. So theta is known to us, and uh, PT is to be found out and MT. You know, empty this whole thing from right from this. Uh, this is bank mid length. So, what is the distance between from M towards the aft bulkhead? From M to the aft bulkhead, what would be the distance? Half of the half, half of the LBP. Half of length. Okay, so the length by two is basically this this distance. Now, if I want to find out what is empty, so what we do is length by two minus this value for x. X is the distance from the aft bulkhead. So this value is also known to us. The length of the tank is given to us in the in the, in the numerical. X value is also given to us in the numerical. So by doing L by two minus X, we find out what is the value for M T. So we do a very simple cal. I mean the thing over here. Now instead of tan theta, what we do is we put trim by L B P and into M T. So P T is equal to trim by L B P into M T. Now M T is also known to us. That is L by two minus X. So the value for PT can also be found out by using this simple calculation. Is it clear? Because this is where the heart of the uh, the, the whole uh, calculation is because of uh, trim. Good sure. morning, Rajesh. Here, can I add one thing? Yes, yes, yes please, Rajesh. Uh, there's one place where most of the students do mistake. Mm -hmm. Last formula value put this L by two. Okay. 
they by mistake put lbp by 2 i have seen that in the class so this they have to be okay, very okay 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 all right the lbp only comes up in this trim calculation when we actually take the whole ship the moment we come into a tank the moment we come into only i mean the, the volume in the tank we always use l so this l stands for uh, length of the tank and not the i mean length of the ship so uh, we don't use uh, lbp too many too, too many times in this particular uh, formula only for finding out that uh, the theta and only for finding out this particular value for pt otherwise l is always the length of the tank clear all right um so now again like, like we said so now we got what is the derivation of up and what is the derivation of pt so what we do is we just add up these two and we get uh, the value for uh, for this uh, corrected allele now as we saw in the previous exam in the previous slides this you uh, let us let us let's look at two conditions where in one place we are using uh, allele tape and one case we are using uh, ra the radar gauge allele tape will follow the path of uo and the radar gauge will follow the path of up can somebody tell me why Okay. Radar gauge is parallel to bulkhead. Yeah, radar gauge is parallel to bulkhead. It is a fixed structure in the ship. When the ship is built, when the tanks are built, it is fixed structure. It will not uh, go with the gravity. Whereas U O, this tape which is there, that is hanging because of gravity. So gravity will always take it vertical, and this level of the oil is always horizontal. And that is the reason why we have a small offset over here. Otherwise, this U P will always be used when I mean U P is a value which is which is given if the the radar gauge is known used. That means there are two i mean there are kind of two variations over here in one we are using a tape that means the tape will follow the path of uo if you are if you are using a radar gauge the radar gauge will follow the path of up correct if you already have followed i mean if you already have up in hand then we don't have to do any more correction because the correction is required only because we have uo in hand so if you already have up in hand that means in the radar gauge we directly get the value for up so no further corrections to be applied in case of radar gauge this is very very important because again in the in the heat of the moment in the examination we still because we have a simple formula so we keep on continuing continue to follow the same thing so in case uh, in case we use a radar gauge we directly get up and the pt is trim by lbp into length minus uh, length by 2 minus x that's in a bracket and so we directly get the i mean if using a radar gauge only corrections to be applied is the small pt correction to be applied is it clear is it clear any doubts yes sir so will you show the last slide sir for pt okay last slide for pt this one yes sir yeah okay and one more thing which i want to add is this the uo which was the which, which was a sonic tape or a, or a bob which is hanging from uh, hanging vertical once we correct this uo to up that is that particular function is called tape correction this correction uh, the one which is pt is happening because the ship is trimmed and this correction is called trim correction so what we have what we apply is in case we use a uh, in case we use a sonic tape or in case we use a sounding tape or something like that to find the allage of the oil then what we get is I mean, we have to apply tape correction from tape correction i mean uh, we also apply trim correction to get the true uh, the true allele whereas if you using a radar gauge the tape correction is is not applied by because we already have up in hand only correction to be applied is the trim correction so this pt is a trim correction and this up is a uh, tape correction yes yeah, shall we go ahead there's one doubt sir yes yes So uh, this U O you said that it is the sounding tape. So sounding tape is in the sounding pipe is only way to the trim of the vessel. No no no. Uh, so on a on a tanker we don't have sounding pipes because the sounding pipes are actually like you will have a lot of. Uh, 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 so what we have is just a just a hole on the top and from there we just hang the bob down. So the sounding uh, pipe like what we have in the ballast tanks will not be found in the oil tank because they they increase the shadows uh, shadow areas they're difficult to clean. 
and then uh, what is there in the shadow area of the uh, of the sounding pipes can't be effectively cleaned so they may uh, like what you call like kind of interfere with the, the next cargoes and all so what we have is just a hole on the on the top and from there we uh, we put this bob down is it clear sir is alleged tapes and sounding tapes are different or uh, both alleged same? tape and sounding tape is both both, both are same in the, in the in the respect that both are actually uh, like what you call suspended from top they suspended from this point u and they both use gravity to go down but in the sounding tape it is going all the way down see have you seen those engineers and all when they using uh, sounding tape to find out the alleged of uh, the bunker time so the sounding tape can also be used to find the alleged it all depends on how you let's say you pull it up to about 5 meters you pick it up and they see it's it's the uh, oil is at 3 meters that means the alleged is 2 meters or if you use something like a sophisticated equipment like uti or mmc tape and all then as we keep on suspending the bob when it touches the oil surface you'll get a, a intermittent beep will come and that is what it is uh, uh, which, which which denotes that it has touched the oil level so both can be used to find out the alleged see ultimately what we want to find out is we want to find out this uo because we have to reach this ut how to reach the ut from uo is basically this calculation okay so even if the alleged is given from the sounding tape you can you can you can find out the i mean you can uh, uh, take the value for uo and then from there you calculate unless we come to somewhere some conditions where the sounding is given then it, it's a different story altogether but here we are only sticking to the alleged that's the reason why we uh, follow this particular calculation captain anand subramanian sir yes one of the question raised by participant mr sambath kumar elangovan Uh -huh. is the value of x in pt formula will distance of sounding pipe from bulkhead yeah distance of the sounding pipe from the aft bulkhead correct that is the offset that is the distance from the aft bulkhead thank you sir okay so let's go on so uh, once we know the alleged which is given in the numericals we have first we first apply tape correction and the trim correction but if a radar gauge is given please ignore the tape correction because you already have up in hand so we directly apply the trim correction that is the only thing and the formula is this up is equal to u o into secant of tan inverse trim by bp it sounds pretty complex over here but then when we when we do two or three numericals this is very very simple when you compare those have a sign formulas and all the other formulas what we do in navigation this is all nothing so once you do couple of numericals this this equation also comes in automatically okay now once we find out ut that's that's uh, i would say about 90% of the battle is done because we have uh, the ut which is there what what we need to find out is the height of the oil which is uh, which is height of the tank minus ut from there we find out the observed volume of the oil and from there we use a normal calculation normal like what you call formulas and all we find out gov uh, some gsv and then find out once the gov is known then we find out the gsv then we find out uh, uh, the density minus 0011 and then we find out the weight in air this particular part is the most simplest thing unless you don't uh, i mean uh, you don't make a mistake in getting those factors this particular part is very very simple all this difficulty is finding out the height of the oil that is to find out what is this ut once we find out the ut we can find out the height of the oil any questions so far uh, sir excuse me yes uh, can you please explain once again uh, l by 2 minus x okay l by 2 minus x um, let's let's look at this particular thing see now um, let me go back see over here this is a tank center line is it not why we have taken the center line because i am going to magnify the whole thing so what is this point from the aft bulkhead to this green line what is the length of this is it l by 2 length of the tank by 2 why because we are going to magnify this particular section i just want to know this particular triangle that's the reason and uh, if you remember i also said this m is a point where the oil pivots around because of trim so from here if i if i if we calculate that's more or less okay for us that means from this green line which is the tank center line to the aft bulkhead that is l by 2 so far so good yes sir clear sir understood yeah okay so now this this uh, distance from the aft bulkhead is x what we need is mt so this distance is equal to total length minus uh, the value x and that is by l by 2 minus x which comes over here so l by 2 minus x this value for mt 
is transposed over here as L by 2 minus. Yeah. Any questions? If no questions, please take out a calculator. Let's do a very quick uh, numerical. It's a very simple formula. I mean, very simple application. Uh, if you actually take out uh, what you have to do is, I mean, uh, for the first numerical, at least let's draw a diagram and do it. Otherwise, it becomes very, very simple. In the examination, of course, you draw a small diagram on the side, show these values, and then you can carry on. But to understand various concepts, it is better that you draw a diagram and then do it. So here we need to find out the weight of the oil. And uh, what is given is a sonic tape. That is, it's a free, freely suspended object from the top. And the allege is 1.8 meters. That is observed allege. Tank dimension is given to us. Oil temperature is given, density is given. If you notice the same density, same temperature, that means you can use the same DCF from the previous example. LBP is given and the trim is given. And this value for alleged point distance from the aft bulkhead is also given, 2.5 meters. Can we do this numerical? Anybody? Yes, it tries. Yeah, okay, all right. So, as always, first take on the given values, what was all given in the numericals. We can find out what is UO. It's all, it's all given to us. So, you've taken on everything from there. And draw a small diagram. It, it looks very nice because it shows that you understood the whole concept. You can take out all these values and put in a figure that, that shows that uh, you have understood this whole uh, concept of this oil calculations and all. So, the values are pretty straightforward. I mean, the, the equation is straightforward. So, first, what we find, want to find out is UP. So, you can actually find out the whole thing in single and simply, uh, simply uh, like what you call a single equation. But doing it for the first time, you can break down into small, small sections. Now, remember, this is sonic tape. That means two, two corrections to be applied. One is a, uh, the tape correction, and the second one is a trim correction. So, this is the formula for tape correction. The so UO into secant of tan inverse trim by LBP. Superimpose the values, what we get is UO is 1.8 of secant of tan inverse of 2 by 200. That is, tan inverse of 2 by 200 is what this, this particular value. So 1.8 into secant of so much is this value. And ultimately, what we get is UP, which is 1.80007. Any doubts here? Any, any uh, like what do you call uh, difficulties in this problem? Not so. Okay. If you have a scientific calculator, you can do it uh, in, in one single string and you'll get the same answer. All right. Next is what we want to find out is it is a trim correction, that is PT. So trim by LBP into uh, L by 2 minus X. So trim by LBP is uh, 0 0.01, that is 2 by 200, that's 0 0.01 into uh, L by 2 is 12.5 because L is 25 meters. So L by 2 is 12.5. This value for X is 2.5. So 2.5 comes over here. So this becomes 0 0.01 into 10. That is 0 0.1. So PT is 0 0.1. So now we know what is UP and what is PT. So what is UT? Simple addition of these two. So true alleged is UT, which is uh, UP plus PT. So 1.80007 plus uh, 0.1 which is 1.9007. Now the big uh, doubt in the questions, I mean, in the, in the numericals, how till what decimals do we go to? Now we are all using scientific calculators. So I mean, you see, actually you see the value of this is yeah, up to five decimal places. If you can go up to five decimal places, but finally when you come to the answers like cubics and metric tons and all, up to three decimal places is more than enough. Okay, so now once we have UT, we can find out what is the height of the oil, that is the depth of the tank, that is 15 meters, minus 1.0007. Okay, that is, I've, I've done it uh, wrong over here. Okay, the answer is 13.0993 meters. This is the height of the oil. Clear. Now, how do we go to the volume, observed volume? 24 into 18 into 13. Into length and breadth. Into length and breadth, very simple. Okay, so uh, find the observed volume, that is uh, volume of the oil is, this is the first uh, thing, uh, like into, into the height, the length and the breadth. That means it comes to 5894.9685. Then we uh, come use a DCF, 
which if you see is the same as the previous example what we used. So we, what we get is uh, GSV, that is the standard volume, that is what is the second step. Third step is find the density in air, density in vacuum, minus 0011. And lastly, we find out the weight in air, which is multiplication of this GSV by this 7839, which is uh, 4570 decimal 234. Out here in these places, uh, three decimal places is more than enough. Whereas if you can go to high, de high decimals in those uh, values where the dimensions are coming in. Otherwise, when we come over here, after three decimal places is enough. Any doubts in this? Can you show the last slide, sir? Yep. You see, the complication comes up in the, in the competency exam in finding out the allege. It is not the volume. If once you find out the volume, the correction is very, very simple. VCF, uh, density minus 0011, if you get these two factors, you can directly using the same string in the calculator, you can find the answer. The whole complication is about this particular value of getting the true allege. And that is where it becomes a uh, little complex. Captain Anand Subramaniam, sir. Yes. What's yes. the polling time? Okay. If All right. I'll take a small break here, one minute. You can uh, look at the poll. <coughs> Sir, uh, it is showing. Hi, Sandeep. It is showing poll error, poll error. Showing poll error. Okay. Um, a moderator, can you have a look at it? Okay, sir. Okay, shall we proceed? Because there's one more concept for uh, trim correction, sorry, list correction, which needs to be looked into before we consolidate the whole uh, class. Yeah, you can go ahead. I'll, I'll just check that and relaunch it. Okay, okay. All right, fine. Okay. Uh, so. Sir Ah, yeah, uh, one question raised by Mr. Sahil. Okay. Explain how to find VCF. How to find VCF? Yeah. Okay. Yes, uh, the VCF was taken up in the first class. If you remember last class, we uh, I showed you one uh, screen. I mean, one uh, one screenshot of the VCF tables, and then how to access it from uh, uh, using the observed temperature and the density at the degree Celsius. So I would suggest please have a look at that uh, the video which is there in the YouTube. Then there we have uh, we have explained in my in, in quite a bit of detail as to how to find out this VCF. Okay. And time permitting, towards the end, I'll I'll come back to the VCF because it it went off in one of my initial slides. Time permitting, I'll I'll, I'll show it to you here also this time this class also. Okay, shall we go in? Any doubts in this so far, the trim correction? Um, Captain Anand Subramaniam, sir. Yes. One participant, Mr. Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, he need the uh, he need to show the calculation of PT. Calculation Can you just show PT, us the yes. calculation of PT? Okay. okay. All right. See, the formula looks pretty daunting, but then if you if you do two or three numericals, automatically this comes up. If it comes up in a sequence, 
so there won't be any any issues at all and these values trust me these 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 formulas are very very simple as compared to those uh, complex uh, like uh, uh, complex stability or like uh, uh, navigation formulas what we have this formula comparatively is much much simpler okay so that is it i mean uh, that is about this particular calculation and so we find out what is the weight in air shall we go into the list now yes sir. yeah yes. we'll come to these formulas again towards the end when we when we summarize the whole class so we will we will come back to these formulas again uh but let's finish off the list also again the list is pretty pretty much simple as as i mean uh, is very similar to as what we uh, did for the trim here we have a ship uh on the on the left hand side is the port side that means i'm looking forward and the uh, right hand side is the starboard and we have a cent tank center line that is exactly on the center of these two this is the breadth of the tank and the, the ship is perfectly upright so if we take an allege over here or allege anywhere on the deck surface the allege is going to be exactly the same but if the ship is now listed towards the port again if we use a, i mean if we have an allege pipe exactly on the center uh, like what we did for the uh, trim correction this is a pivot point for the uh, for the for uh, for this particular tank also towards the transverse that means if we have a allege point exactly on the center then this also will give us exactly same allege but the moment we go to any on any other other side either towards the port side or towards the starboard side we will have an, an issue so if we go towards the port side this is the allege what we get from the uh, from the tank top towards this uh, green line which is the uh, the horizontal line of the level of the oil actually what i want is from the tank top to this orange line so small correction has to be applied over here and this correction is what uh, positive or negative i mean should i uh, this has to be increased or decreased increased 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 why because the oil surface has creeped up and that is the reason why i mean uh, the oil surface has creeped up that means actually the 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 actual allege is from the tank top to this orange line if it is offset towards the port side that means that is uh, this is basically what is the ut and reduction of the allege but parallel to the ship side okay now if we have it in the opposite side that means if we have i mean uh, tank center line we have it in the opposite side that means allege point is offset towards the starboard side now remember the tank is listed to port but the uh, the allege point is towards the starboard side here this this much is the allege which i am getting from the tank top to the green line whereas actually what i want is tank top to the orange line that is our true allege so there is a small amount of difference i mean a small amount of correction which needs to be subtracted from so depending on which side of the tank uh, the allege point is from the center line the correction is either additive or subtracted and that is why something we have to uh, we have to that is the most important thing in the list correction this doesn't really apply on the trim correction because in general about 99.999% of the time the uh, for for the longitudinally the center i mean the allege point is located very close to the aft bulkhead it is always always located after the center uh, the the longitudinal center line of the ship of the of the tank whereas the transverse uh, allege point can be located on the port side or the starboard side so if the list the ship is listed to port side port and port the corrections to be added if it is port listed to port and uh, the offset is towards the starboard side this correction has to be subtracted clear so now if you go to the if you go to the opposite side of the list there is an increase in allege which needs to be subtracted if you go on the same side of the uh, of the uh, of the list so small correction has to be added up okay like what we did in the longitudinal tank we are going to look at only this particular section and let's see what what really happens now this is tank center line and this is a distance y which is given to us in the numerical in the numerical it will be given uh, so and so allege point uh, point is uh, let's say 3 meters 4 meters from the center line of the tank the midship center line in the like what you call uh, the breadth the breadth y center line and again now that we are going to concentrate on the one half of it this becomes b by 2 but here the b by 2 doesn't really come in the picture why because this distance y is the distance from the tank center center line and that is why we just written it as y now this uh, uh, the change of the oil level is because of list and earlier we used the trim as theta here we used the list as lambda ll tt so the list is basically coming as i mean represented as lambda 
And this is a small list correction which needs to be done. That means what we have in hand is UN, but actually what I want to what we want to find out is UL. And so this NL is a small corrections to be added up. If it was located on the opposite side, that means if it was on the starboard side, the same NL has to be subtracted. Clear? So that is something what we need to be done. So correction NL to be applied to the observed alleged. And uh, so in this triangle, in this triangle uh, NLM, we know the theta, sorry, we know the lambda, which is an angle of list. And what we want to find out is this uh, value. And LM is already known to us because that is the distance from the tank center. That is the distance Y, which is known to us. So tan lambda is equal to NL by Y. Or in other words, NL is equal to tan lambda, tan lambda into Y. That's a very simple formula. So this is a list correction to be added up or subtracted depending on the on the location of the uh, time. See, the offset is towards the same side. That means if it is the list is to port and the alleged point is to the port, add it to the UO. If the list is to the, I mean, to the opposite side, that means now in this case, the list is port side. If this particular pipe was located on the starboard side, then we subtract. From the UO, I will come to the final answer. I mean, final, uh, uh, like what do you call it? Uh, the long equation, then we'll come to know from where this is to be subtracted from. So now, the the calculation, in, in case you're using an alleged tape, now we are going to apply both list and trim. Okay. So the alleged is UO into secant of, uh, see now this is tape correction. The first particular section is the tape correction. It's a trim component of the tape correction. This is a trim correction, the second half of it, the second uh, section of it. And the last section is the list correction. And so the observed alleged, I mean, this is what we actually, uh, when, you, when you finally do the whole calculation, it, it looks up like this. Is it clear? Now, again, remember, these, this is a formula for using alleged tape. Alleged tape has got a, uh, uh, a tape correction. So alleged, the final alleged, the true alleged is tape correction, plus minus trim correction, plus minus list correction. If you're using only radar gauge, we don't have to do this particular step. Why? Because what we have in hand is already UT. The radar gauge already directly gives us UT. So if you're using a radar gauge, this is uh, not, not required. So we directly go to the second stage and the third stage. Second stage is the trim correction. Third stage is the list correction. Now we have a notation over here, plus minus. Over here also plus minus. The rules for the sign is, for trim correction, Positive if the alleged stand is alleged stand is towards the trimmed end, which will normally be the case. 99.9 .9 times it will be towards like uh, the, the alleged stand will be towards that uh, aft side. <clears throat> in case, I mean, uh, to give a googly or something, in case that in the, in the numericals, the question is asked, I mean, is put in such a way that the, the alleged stand is from the forward end, let's say two meters or three meters, then we have to subtract this. But this condition may not apply, I mean, uh, appear in the, in the MMT examination. From what we normally get is a late stand towards uh, the trim end, that is towards the aft end. The notation for this plus minus over here, the rules of sign is if the list correction, if both are the same side, add it. If both are opposite sides, subtract it. Very simple. Fine. Mm -hmm. So this is the actual formula to be used for your calculation. Uh. So in this, the value of x and the value of y remains standard all throughout. Uh, for the, instance, the x x remains in a particular the, numerical. Yes, in a particular numerical, the value for x is given to us. X is yes. typically like uh, two point five meters from the aft bulkhead, and y is three meters from the center line of the of the bulkhead. Something like that. Okay, sir. so, so that's for, always mentioned. Yeah, it is given in the numerical. Of okay. course, the numerical changes the value for x also changes. So it's not a constant value. It is a value which is what is there in the numerical. Uh, while doing it in MMD exam, can we directly put this formula and do it or we have to explain? You, you uh, can, you can. I mean, uh, you can directly use the formula uh, and do it. But uh, this is only step uh, one. In case you have time, it is always better to draw a small diagram. See, what in case you make a small mistake in these calculations, some way or the other, small clerical error or something. At least you will get some marks, at least two, three marks, at least five marks for the, for the diagram what you draw. So diagram, if you ask me, is always welcome because that shows that you understood the concept. Even if you make a small clerical error some way or the other, the examiner will be uh, giving a sympathetic uh, view to the final and final marks what you get. Otherwise, you can you can you can blindly like kind of memorize it, and you can uh, get the right answer also. Okay, just a reminder. Okay, sir, it's one o'clock almost. 
Yeah, okay, okay. There is only one more numerical, and then uh, that's basically it's a very simple numerical. So, see diagram. If you understand the concept, please draw the diagram. Once you do two or three diagrams, like a, like a, like what you are shown in the diagram, it does not it doesn't take too much of time. And we don't want two scale diagram. We just want a representation of the diagram. So the list value will be given already, or you have to find the list one. See, list value is given. It will be given the numerical. So when we solve the numericals, you will get this. You will understand how as to how this is done. There's only one last numerical to be solved. With that, with that, you will understand how to get this list and from what together. Okay. So now uh, this is what we had in the initial parts from alleged to volume to metric tons. Are these four steps? First, find GSV, then find the density in air, then find the weight in air. This is a very very simple step. The whole calculation comes up is basically like uh, let's 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 look at this particular uh, value now. I've skipped few a uh, few slides and now we're coming to this calculation with trim and list. So here, take note. It's a radar gauge. So radar gauge does it have a tape correction? No, sir. No tape correction. So what are the corrections to be applied to this radar gauge? The ship has got a trim, and the ship has got a list. Trim and list. Trim correction. List correction. That is all. Okay. So <laughs> even if you don't bother to draw a diagram, at least you can you can like kind of get the values directly from there, and then you can get the answers. And uh, I only want the height of the oil. If you find out the height of the oil, rest all is very simple. From the height, you find out the alleage. From the alleage, I mean, from the height, you find out the volume, and from there, so on, so on, so on. Okay. So that's a very simple part. But here, what we want to find out is the alleage, and from the alleage, height of the oil. So again, as usual, what we do is we write down the given values. UP is one point five. That is UP. Why UP? Because it's not UO. Because I'm we're using a radar gauge, that's why we directly get the value for UP. The value for X. What is X? Half bulkhead. So distance from the out bulkhead is three meters. That is this over here. The trim is two meters. LBP is two hundred meter. Two hundred meters. And the value for um, where's three point five meters to the port. That is three point five over here. And lambda is two degrees to starboard. Now remember, this is uh, to I mean, this is offset to port, and the lambda is starboard. That means they are opposite. If it is opposite, what is the sign for that uh, particular list correction? Negative. Positive or negative? Negative. Negative. Yes, negative. Okay. So now this is the formula to be used. Alleged is UT is is actually alleged from the radar gauge. This is plus. Why it is plus? Because the radar gauge is uh, the distance from the aft bulkhead is three meters. It is towards the trimmed end. That is why the distance. I mean, this particular thing is positive. This is negative here. This is a trim. Uh, this is a trim correction. This is a list correction. List correction is negative. Why? Because three point five to port and uh, lambda to starboard. Opposite sides. That is why it is minus. Now quickly put the values for these. You will get the what is the value for the alleged. So this true alleged is one point four seven two eight. So what is the height of the oil? Fifteen height minus one point four seven two eight. Fifteen. The, yeah, the, the tank height minus uh, fifteen minus one point four seven two eight. That is thirteen point five two seven two. That's it. So you can directly use the formula and put on the values and do it. You'll also get the same answer. Once I get the height of the oil, the next step is volume. After I get the observed volume, then GSV, then GSV to uh, metric ton in air. Clear? Any doubts? Sir, about the UT that plus is came from? Plus is because uh, if you remember the sign notation, it is plus because. The alleged point is towards the trimmed end. See, how do I know what is the length of the tank? Length of the tank is twelve point five. Uh, sorry, uh, twenty five meters. What is the half length? Twelve point twelve point five. So it is only three meters from the aft bulkhead. So it is still towards the trimmed end. The trim is towards the aft. Why? Because uh, the trim is two meters. So the trim is towards the aft, 
and that is the reason why this is also positive okay. both on the same end okay. but very over here if you see one is on the port side the, the list is on the starboard side is located on the port side list is on the starboard the same thing would have happened other ways also so the opposite it is mine understood thanks perfect and, uh, thank you very much for uh, attending this class thank you very much